So today I'm replacing the RAM sticks in this Acer laptop. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure that you have the following, your RAM sticks, a screwdriver set, and a way to back up or transfer your data. I do suggest that you back up or transfer your data just in case, but it is not necessary for RAM swaps. After backing up your data, if possible, go ahead and remove the battery from the computer prior to opening it up. Most new laptops won't allow you to do that, so you might have to open up the whole back in order to remove the battery. So then you want to go ahead and remove the cover. Acer made this one extremely easy. All I have to do is remove three screws and then I have full access to the RAM and hard drive. If you watched my hard drive replacement, this is actually the same computer. Once you have access to the RAM, you can carefully remove it. Some companies make anti-static mats that I would suggest that you use when working with the internals of a computer. I'm going to go ahead and pop this one out. I'm going to carefully install the new RAM. And next, just have to go ahead and put in the back. Make sure you install the battery if you took it out. Okay, so now once your RAM is in and the battery and the back are all installed, you can go ahead and power on your machine. Now please note, sometimes you will get a black screen with white text that gives you a warning that you had additional RAM installed. If that happens, that is not a big deal. Go ahead and enter past that. So just a quick note about this hard drive swap. The 4 gig RAM stick that was in there was perfectly fine. I could have chosen to get another one of the exact same stick and only add that instead of replacing it. But I honestly wanted faster RAM, so I got two RAM sticks, so I doubled from four gigs to eight gigs, plus the RAM sticks are even faster. So instead of four gigs of DDR4 RAM at 2,133 megahertz, uh, I bumped it up to eight gigs of DDR4 RAM at 2,666 megahertz speed. So it is a lot faster. The main purpose of adding this RAM to the computer was simply due to the simplest programs were using 75% of the RAM's capacity. So more complex programs really struggled. So doubling the capacity of the RAM will really help out. Also be sure to check out my other video about RAM as well as the playlist on how to build your own home server. So that way if you need to back up data, you can know how to back up your data to a server that you've built. As always, thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.